Hi, let's make a bench power supply. This is a first part about electric circuit. In the next video I'll show you how I made a wooden case. And the third video will be about using the bench power supply. I'll do some interesting electric tricks and experiments. Firstly, I bought all the components on the cheapest website I found. I'll leave all the links in the description. This is a power cable and a power socket. The power socket has a 10 amperes fuse. It means if we connect any electrical appliance which consumes more than 10 amperes, the fuse will be blown and protect our circuit. Let's solder and check it. Voltage. It's working. Great. The main part of our project is this AC to DC power converter. Input voltage range is AC from 85 to 265 volts. Output voltage is DC 24 volts plus and minus. Maximum load is about 4 amperes. It gives us 24 times 4 equals about 100 watts. The power converter has an overload protection and a short circuit protection. Let's connect and check it. Voltage, 24 volts, short circuit protection, great. The next one is this voltage and current regulator. Input voltage range is DC from 7 to 32 volts, plus and minus. Output voltage range is DC from 1.3 to 28 volts, plus and minus. Maximum output current is about 8 amperes. This potentiometer for voltage and this for amperage. I want to replace them with this precision potentiometers 10 kilo ohms. We need to solder this first leg instead of this first, this second instead of this, this third instead of this. One, one, two, two, three, three. Let's connect this module. I'm gonna use this banana socket to connect any electrical appliance.
minimum voltage, maximum voltage, short circuit protection. Works great. So we already have the simplest bench power supply. Let's make it more informative. This is a voltage and amperage monitor. We must supply from 4 to 28 volts to these wires. Plus and minus. So we can connect them to these points. Here are 24 volts. This wire is for measuring voltage. We need to connect them to this plus output. And these thick wires are for measuring amperage. We need to connect them instead of this cable. Let's connect and check. Voltage regulator works great. Now, if we want to use our bench power supply in a case or for a long time or use it to the full, we need to add a cooler. The type of cooler depends on the case, but now I'm gonna use just this little pen. This is a 12 volts fan, so we need to use this DC power converter to get 12 volts from 24. Here is a voltage regulator. The last part for today is this temperature controller. It has a temperature sensor, indicator and relay. Here we must provide with 12 volts for this module plus and minus. And these contacts may be connected or disconnected depending on your temperature settings. I'm gonna connect minus from the fan to this point, plus from fan to this and connect these points together. Let's check it. Voltage regulator, amperage regulator. Temperature settings also depends on your case. But now the fan will turn on when temperature reaches 42. Yeah, works. And turn off when temperature drops 40 degree. Works. So today we've made a socket of 120 watts bench power supply. In the next video I will show you how I've made a wooden case. 
and in the third video I'll do some tests, amazing tricks and interesting experiments with this power supply. Thanks for watching and sorry for my English, bye bye.